This program was configured in my lab to analyze the power system. Let's get it started. There are two ways to analyze the power flow. The first one was the one uh, to analyze these uh, two power systems. There are three bottoms and it has to be in order. So the first one is data preparation. We will see here the number of uh, interactions and so on. So this is our data, whose data file for the bosses and line data file for the lines. All right, now we are able to see the results. This is the admittance matrix. This is the power flow solution. We will see here the power flow and the line flow and losses. We can print this out if we want, or we can select all of that and copy and paste for further analysis. If we want to simulate a fault, this is a, a contingency. Load file. There is a file which is a line data. Open. Before we continue, let me show you this file. So there is a fault in between line two and, and four. So this is the new admittance matrix. This is the power flow solution. Again, the analysis will be specified in the report. This is the limits configured previously. And we are seeing just one violation. All right. Now for the second part, well, I forgot to mention, also we will see the records in the command window if we want to copy and page well also there is a already it's already done the second part is to simulate a real power system again the same procedure use data line data next this is a, our huge uh, admittance matrix. This is the power flow solution. And now we are gonna simulate the fault load file. So right here we have the file. Uh, the fault is being configured between line 13 and 12. Let's load the file. All right, this is our new admittance matrix. This is our power flow solution, the same limits. And now we are able to see the violations, violations right here, as well as the data. Uh, these this, this, uh, results will be analyzed in the report. And this is how the program, the program works.